Hi everyone, welcome back to It's All G Playing the Forest. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some defenses on this beach here because so far it's quite secure. I mean this boat is not going anywhere. But I don't want enemies to come around and start attacking it. I don't even know whether my boat has taken any damage or not. So let's just go and quickly check everything. Everything seems to be good. Do a quick water check. That's 100%. Do I have any food? Yep. I wonder if there's a way that I can store snacks. Did I already do that? Can I not store snacks on this? Hmm. Let's, let's check. Let's check. I'm going to quickly take one of these off. Right? Then press R, R. You can place snacks on these. Okay. Never mind for now. There are enemies out here who are provoking me. See, this is exactly what I mean, right? This is exactly what I want to prevent. But, you know, not that it's a big problem. But I just think it's kind of fun to build some defenses over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um... I'm gonna take this rock, but they can climb on rocks, can't they? In that case, I'm gonna take right after the rock as my starting point. So let's go ahead and set the blueprint for the defensive walls. Pretty sure they can walk on these shores here. Hmm, that's gonna be a problem. So maybe what I'll do instead is... I don't know how deep they can walk. But uh, we're gonna have to go with the rough estimate. Hmm. They can probably run over here, right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start here. Let's just test it out and see what it looks like. It is gonna cost me a shit ton of logs. That is for sure. No doubt about that. Should I make like a cool design looking thing? Sort of like one and then two and then here is the door and then three and then into the water. Something like that. Hmm. Let's just check it out. I'm going to cancel this and cancel this. So this is what it would look like. Does it look kind of weird? Yeah, it looks hell of a lot weird. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel these. Hmm. There has to be a better way for me to build. Slightly more symmetrical, more organized. Let's just keep trying and see what happens. I'm going to have to do the same thing anyway, so I'm going to start. Maybe I don't need to go too deep into the water, so I'll start from this rock and then go forward. Uh, how many is that? Five logs? Five. Oh no, I didn't click. Five. Oh, I can't go five? Uh, let's see here. We're going to do this as efficiently as possible. Oh, I see some baddies already. Are they going to provoke me? Yep. Uh, let's deal with them first. If you're going to come here, you're going to suffer for it. That much I can promise you, boys. No, don't move. Bro. Don't roll around. These are, these are the skinnies, aren't they? That's right, I killed your friend. You wanna come here? Yeah? You wanna challenge me? Let's go. Anybody else? I don't think so. Okay, let's go ahead and start this over. I know it's a little tedious, but... We have, we have committed, guys. We have committed. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Go this way. 
what's the minimum? Do I have to go by how many is that? Eight? Eight logs. Yeah, there is eight logs. Okay. Then I'm gonna go straight this way. Straight this way. And then eight logs this way. How many is that? Is that it? One, two, three, four. Hmm. I can't really tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's eight. Yeah. It doesn't look bad at all. It is going to cost me 56 logs. That's pretty insane. So what we're going to do as well is... Uh, come on, your friends are all dead. Just get over it. Not the best time to be bothering me, sir. So we're going to try and get about the center for me to make a door or a gate, if you will. Let's press R. I don't know if this means the door is going to open outward or inward. I don't know how the doors work. So you see, they can walk on some amounts of water, but they don't seem to go around here. But even if they do, I can add some defensive walls after that. It's not really a problem. Goodbye, sir. Okay. There is a small village here where you can get some rope and even even some cloth. So this is one side. I have to do another side, right? So yeah, that's the gateway. Uh, that is not even remotely symmetrical. Hmm. Should I try again? I know it's a tedious job, but actually no, it's kind of symmetrical. With the exception that this this part, um, let me see if I can let me see if I can redo just this section here. You see, on the other side. Oh come on, give me a break. Let me do my job, man. Just die. Okay. So I stopped at where the land touches the water and then went inward. But here, on the other side, I extended a little bit. So I should try to stop somewhere here and then go inward from there. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel this. Yeah, right about there is where I'm going to start. Oof, that looks about right. And go inward until it snaps. God, I hope that's eight. Yes. I'm going to cancel this extra bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now it's significantly more symmetrical. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And it's only 49 logs now. 49 logs can be done, guys. It won't take very long. Now I'm trying to figure out whether this door, this gate, opens outward or inward. I genuinely don't remember. Um, there is a way to, to check this. Um, let's go to the base for a sec and come right back. Because I've, I've built defensive gates before. I just simply don't remember what, what the orientation is. Oh, also, if you guys were paying attention in my past video, I was trying to figure out if there is a way for me to store skulls. And, well, well while there isn't a designated skull basket or skull holder, you can store skulls in your catapult. Uh, it seems like a bit of a stretch for, your, like, just to... Just to like store your skulls, but if you really need a solution, then there's your solution. I'm gonna head into the plane and get some meds and supplies and stuff. Never miss a chance to re replenish your supplies. I maxed out on uh, soda cans. I'm gonna grab me. I don't know if I can get snack bars in here. I thought I was supposed to be able to. But now, as it turns out, I can't. I always thought I could get snack bars here. I think at the start of the game, you can. And then, like, they don't, like, respawn, like, the other stuff. I might be wrong, I'm not really sure. 
The sound? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are roaring. Oh, damn, there's so many of them. Ah, uh, nothing we haven't dealt with before. One down. Who's next? I saw you running. How far can you really run, sir? Oh, pretty damn far. God, God damn, he, he, he gone. Like, oh, there's another one. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Welcome to Pizza Hut. We only serve vegan food here. No human meat. Not interested? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Hello, good sir. Oh, you were the one that... And I'm sure the woman will come back for me. Maybe not. Never mind. Okay, so let's go into the base for a second. Just for a second, because I built one gate right here. Don't know if I can fit through. Right, so the log... Like, the sh spikes that are diagonal are inside. And they open outward. Okay, so... Which means, whichever side is flat is gonna uh, is gonna open outward. That's good to know. So now I have to decide whether I want my gate to be to open outward or inward. I think I kind of want it to open outward, just because it seems more natural, right? Gates should open outward, right? They don't open inward, do they? Damn it, I don't know. Hmm. Let me see if I can figure that out as we go along. What I'm going to do now is... Let's see if we can salvage that log sled that we saw some time back. That, that was submerged in the water here. Because if we can do that, then we are uh, 12 logs out of 49 logs done, you know. And also it saves me one pink flag. Hmm. Can I push you to the shore? Does not seem like I can. Hmm. Disassemble the. Can I not add batteries while the torch is on? I can't. Okay, so I have to disassemble it first. That's kind of annoying. Never mind. So I'm gonna. Why can't I? Okay. So we can see that it's at zero percent. I don't need it attached right now, so I'm just gonna leave it that way. I saw some berries here. That's the reason I got distracted. I'm gonna try and collect these. Oh, I no. Why am I drinking the water? This is gonna hurt me. Oh god damn it! I'm an idiot. I want the berries, man. Okay. The blackberries are the only other berries besides blueberries that are edible. They do the exact same thing that blueberries do, which is uh, fill up your hunger and your thirst bar. Hmm. Is there any way I can do this? There has to be some sort of way I can bring out the logs. I don't know if that makes any difference at all. Are they gonna drop? No, 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 don't roll away. God damn it. Stay in one place. Good boys, okay. Let's see if I can try and push this. Hmm. Nani. What a waste of logs, man. Oh, damn, I'm cold. I'm cold, I'm cold. What should I do? Should I go to sleep first? Should I? Or should I just risk it? No, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna go back to... I saw berries. Oh, no, those are mushrooms. Just gonna quickly pick this up. Gonna... Make sure I have a lot of sticks because what I might do now is instead of run away, is just build a log sled right here. And then bring that to my boat. I know it seems stupid. Actually, this is stupid. Like, I have a shit ton of log sleds over there that are not being used at all. Some of them probably have logs in them too. Now, since I'm coming to my base anyway, let's go sleep so that at least the day is a little bit brighter. Did I not fall asleep? What? What happened? Ok, 
Okay. So now I'm hungry. Never fail to collect feathers. Oh, actually, I forgot to collect the feathers on my boat, didn't I? Let's put some perspective here. 130 feathers collected. 130, guys. If there's any meat lying around here, I'm gonna eat that instead of eat what's on my body because I'm gonna be away from this base for a while and. Uh, Oh, nothing? I've eaten everything? God damn. Okay, so that's that. Time to eat me a leg or a hand, a leg it is. Let's uh, go to the log shed where you can find the log sleds. Oh damn, somebody broke this. Somebody broke my stairs. Gonna have to rebuild that. Hmm. None of these are filled up, really. Not even on this side. There has to be one guy that's filled up, like at least slightly. No. Jesus. You know what might work? Is if I pick up a mob and place him, place him on the log sled that's in the water, because. Historically, what we have encountered is that when you place dead bodies on log sleds, the log sleds just jump and fly away, right? So let us try that and see what happens. You never know. There should be some dead mobs. One of them is right here. Let's just go test this out real quick and see what happens. Hopefully the logs didn't despawn, no they didn't. I am gonna place the logs back inside before I do any of this. Can I even? Yes I can. Can we fix it? Yes we can. <gasps> it moved! <gasps> what has happened? What just happened? Did it move? Can I? Can I? Come on, come on, so close. So close. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's let's uh, try this now. Where is the body? Where are the body? Have you seen the state of her body? Drop. Oh my God. Well, it it worked. I mean, it did what we wanted it to do. Now we gotta find a way to get this guy out of here. Not sure if it's even, if it's even possible. Hmm, can I go backward? Hmm. Let's try going this way upward. Nope, nope. Um Okay, okay, okay. Yes, slow and steady does it. Slow and steady. <gasps> we did it guys. Would you look at that? There we go. If the game glitches with you, you glitch it back. Fortunately for me, my boathouse should be right down here. Oh, god damn it. Look at the bunnies running around. Alright, so now, uh. The flat part goes outward. So right now, this gate is going to open inward facing my my boathouse. Is that what I want? Or do I want it facing outward? Hmm, damn, I really don't know. Uh, what is more convenient? Like, okay, I'm running in, I'm opening, I'm going in, I'm closing. Or I'm going out and I'm closing. I'm trying to imagine scenarios here. I don't really know what I want and what I don't want. This is tough. Real tough. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, come on, come on. You gotta figure this out quick. Okay, I want it to be on the inside. Just because it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Right? Because like from the outside then it's all nice and flat, right? 
that's kind of cool right so it's gonna open outward and I think that's pretty cool let's just let us begin the process of whoa, 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 what did I do oh no I did a bad I did a bad I did a bad oh there we go I'm supposed to press E that's what I'm supposed to be doing Damn, it's like I've been playing this game so much, but somehow I forgot the controls. Oh, making a gate seems to have added the number of locks that I need in order for me to have has a gate finished already. No, it has not. You know what I don't understand is why is why is my ass so stubborn that. I don't want to use the logs that are on my boat, but instead, I'm doing this ridiculous method of gathering logs. Let us see if I can build a quick mechanism here. Watermelon sugar. Gonna put this up here. And then where do I want it to go? Like right there. Is the other rocks gonna like obstruct it? One way to find out. Looks fine. How many rope do I need? Three and ten logs. Fortunately for us, there should be two pieces of rope here. Did I not just break these, these FEGs? One and two. So all we need now are logs. Might quickly chop these down. Yeah, I shouldn't be wasting any time here. I had, did have a log sled right there, right? And my cat just walked into the washroom, wet all his paws, and decided to walk on my feet and wet my feet with his paws because that's just what cats do. Okay. Chainsaw or axe? Axe it is. Uh, didn't take a lot of hits anyway. Not really a problem. Good. I'm gonna start filling these up. Drink me some soda. How many is that? I'm two more. I think I fit two more. Can I only find one more? Oh, wow. It glitched into the ground okay let's bring these guys over there that I should be using to build my defensive wall I am using to build other things instead because that's just what I do why can't I close this now I mean, that looks pretty damn good if you ask me hmm. okay let's uh, 
test this thing out, shall we? I'm gonna leave this guy down here. What I'm gonna do now is go back up there. Because that's where a lot of the logs are. Oh, I hear someone. Oh. Bad day, huh, guys? You had to come across me while doing your rounds today, huh? Ooh. Can't believe I missed that. Can't believe I missed that shot. Looking for my arrow here. Can't find it. Never mind. Yes. Do you really think that that scream gave you any strength? Doesn't seem like it. Damn, these guys can dodge pretty well. And once you miss, man, it's really hard to find the arrow because it like. Shoots really far away. Just gonna keep fighting these guys until I'm done with them. Because don't need any distractions right now. Okay. My arrow went into the sky, into the mountains. And now there should be another one. I see one guy at the distance there, but... I don't really want to deal with him. I guess I could just finish him off. Oh, hello, good sir. I mean you no harm, but it has to be done. Or else you will come and deal with me later and like... Are you actually gone? Okay. So what I'm realizing now is that... I can cut the logs, the trees here. Use a log sled to bring logs down using the zip line. I recall leaving one of my log sleds halfway. Rest well, good sir. I left it halfway here, around here somewhere, right? When I saw the dead body. Where did it go? Where did you go? I was running this way. I was like, la da ti, la da ta. Hey, look, a corpse. Did I lose it? Is it gone? It even had some logs in it. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Just gonna bring this guy. 35 logs is not a big problem at all, guys. Should be done in no time. Alright, I'm just gonna place the lock sled here. I'm gonna cut these guys in that direction because I don't want them to fall on the rabbit cages or the rabbit traps. Actually, maybe I'll do it this way instead since the zipline is closer that way. Ergonomically, it is more practical. Okay, that's one down. These are really tall trees too, they should give me at least 4 or 5 logs. How many did that give me? 1, 2, 3, 4. I know I'm moving pretty fast, I'm just, this is just sort of how I move when I'm doing log farming because I'd like to stay as efficient as possible. Test this out and see if like the log flies anywhere. Did it just like stay stuck there? What? What the hell? Oh, they are so confused. Like, where did that log come from? Are you running away? You took my arrow with you. God damn it. Never mind, forget about him. Okay, let us do this. Go this way. And start throwing these guys down. That was a mistake. You gotta give them a bit of room, guys. If you send them too quickly, they drop onto the ground 
immediately. Okay. Oh, it's glitching, sort of. I'm gonna start filling this up real quick. Looks like I'm getting a little bit hungry. Damn, there doesn't seem to be any way to fix that glitch, huh? Unless I, like, drop another log. Oh, it dropped. Okay, so it's just a time thing. It just needs time to process, sort of like a YouTube video. How many more logs more? 21. That's what, two more trips? God, I gotta find a, figure out a way to climb up, man. You know what? This is gonna take too long. Let's just go and pick up logs from there. I didn't really think this true. Then again, I never do. I don't know if there are any mobs here, but I don't really care if there are anyway. I'm gonna start with this one. That's one. Two. That's three. Now, if I did the math correctly, I should get uh, four. This is four extra logs. When the log lands on the log sled, it like topples it, and it, you have to like sort of crouch and pick it up. I know it's annoying, but it is this game, and for some reason, I like playing this game. So I got to deal with the shenanigans that come with the game. It's troublesome, it is, but you sort of learn to live with it. So, am I left with an extra four logs? Yes, I am. Should have cut three trees instead of... Did, is there a dead rabbit here? Why, why is there a dead rabbit here? Did a log drop in there and kill it? No, I'm not going to let the rabbit fur go to waste, you know. keep moving once I've done this round then use the four remaining logs then I will need another five logs all right we're just gonna go and log another two trees Collect those four extra logs and we should be done. Okay. Let us chainsaw this tree. That's one down. There's some berries here too, but they're not going to survive, I think. And another tree here. I hope they don't glitch into the ground like I did just now because then I'd be lacking some logs and that's gonna be a little bit annoying but so far so good right Saw some mobs running up there. Yeah, they did glitch into the ground, sort of. One of it. Oh, I see it though. I can sort of pick it up. 
I see you glitched log. I'm going to pick you up from underneath the ground. I am. There we go. Perfect. Sun is going down. Should be perfect timing for us to build the remaining of the defensive wall and then head to bed in the boathouse. And once we're done with this, hopefully, we don't get any more disturbances from mobs. Oh, I think I'm, I run low on energy quickly because I'm hungry. And yes, we are done with the defensive wall. Looks pretty nice. Can't even like build a mini base behind this wall if I can set a good amount of uh, reinforcements to the defensive wall because mobs can break them. It takes them a while but they still can break them. So what we're gonna do now is head to bed first with the lock card inside. And shut this. Yeah, I'm happy with my decision to make the defensive gate an outie. Okay, let's head to bed. I can't! I can't head to bed. The cruelty of it all. <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Okay, maybe I'm going to set some blueprints on the outside here for some defenses, such as the defensive wall spikes. So we're going to do... I don't know how much that's going to cost. And I don't know if gathering rocks and all is going to be easy, but... Can I not place it? I can't place it on the gate? Well... What do you know? The more you know... Is that it? Have I done it for everything? Yes, I have. 108 rocks. 72 sticks. Ah, what's another 72 if I write? Yeah, let's go head to bed first. Should be able to sleep by now. Why don't I see the... There we go. Perfect. Might just eat something. Eat a hand, maybe... Yeah, it fills up my entire stomach, so it's all good. I'm gonna pick up a leg and a hand. Perfect. Is my is my boat drifting? It kind of is, isn't it? That's kind of scary. I don't know why it's doing that. Does it? Would it like go away? I I hope not. I don't know if there's an anchor in this game. I I really don't. I'm gonna check if I can place any logs up there. I don't think I can. I, I'm pretty sure I filled them all up already. Yeah, I have. There's absolutely no way I can fill up more logs in here. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna collect the feathers just because. Okay. How many feathers do I have at this point? 1,476. That's insane, man. Absolutely insane. How many arrows do I have on me? 37. That's not bad. Okay, we're going to start uh, building up these things. I'm going to add a little something to give it some flair here. Put some decorative items like... Uh, a skull lamp. Uh, damn it, I want to know how far wide the door opens so I can place it right outside it so that it doesn't obstruct the 
one here and another one here perfection you can probably fill this up immediately right yep perfect and that looks pretty cool right could add a couple of I don't know if I can add skull lamps onto the top. I really don't. I don't think so. Can probably add ceiling skull lamps. Can't do that either. That's a bother. Damn, I can't put anything on these. No, it's not a man. That doesn't matter to me. I think that looks pretty nice already. Okay, so that being said, we need to start our expedition to fill these things up. We're going to start right away, I think. Oh, I heard someone. He be running by. Oh, there's two of them. Hello, good folks. Welcome to my territory. You are trespassing and therefore will be executed without further notice. There's more of you? Hello, hello. Going for your morning jog? Yes, Molly guy. The Molly guy will molly you and set you and his friends on fire. Is that a mob? That is a Megan mob walking right there. Do we want to pursue her? Damn, does he have an arrow in his head and he's still moving? Like, you gotta give up, son. Taking this much damage can't be good for you. Can't be good for you at all. Where's the Megan mob? If she comes to me, she will destroy our base. So we're going to go and lure her away. How many flares do I have? None. I have none. I have five flares. How many pistol ammo do I have? None. Wow, we are going to die, guys. Molly it is. Molly it is. Did we lose her? Hello, Megan Mob. Where are you? Megan Mob. So the Megan Mobs are the hardest mobs to kill in the game. In case you guys don't already know. Oh, but well, then she saw us. She's coming after us. I got them. She's on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Chase me. Don't go toward my base, please. Good ma'am. Good Megan boss. She's trying to chase. She's coming up. Is she coming up? Is she? Can you reach me? Have you seen the state of her chicken? Oh my god, god damn! That was it took me by surprise. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she just appeared. That was really scary. I'm gonna keep moving away from my base. I see all these other mobs just running. Helter skelter. Have you seen the state of her chicken? Did I hit her? I don't know. Let's just keep jumping in circles until we kill this mob. Pretty sure I hit her that time. Gonna try again. Oh. She died. We succeeded. Now the worm shall come and chase us. And we shall murder it with an arrow. Yeah. And it has died. I have punctured. Now we got a good amount of creepy armor. We should get three from this mob. Three. Sometimes you can even get four, but I don't know. Under what circumstance do you get that bonus creepy armor? So now that we are done with the Megan boss, probably there are mini bosses or mini mobs to finish off real quick. Are you guys examining my base? Trying to strategize how to get in. Let me save you the trouble and tell you that you are not going to get in. Yes. 
Oh, you did not die. Here, here. I am running away from Arrow Man. Arrow Man is peculiar. He can use club or knife or sword or even katana. But here he is using bow and arrow. Very primitive for his supposed level of intellect and evolution. Gonna collect some rocks. There is no rock? Ah, yes. Gonna collect some rocks. Although I already have the rocks in my storage. The reason I'm doing this is because if I take from my boat, then I will eventually have to fill my boat up again. This this zombie babies, they they give you they deal so much of damage. It's ridiculous. They will just knock off one or two of your armor, man. Just by being babies, man. I swear to God. Just gonna equip one of these guys. I'm gonna equip two actually. Now you got a full set. Any rocks around? We're gonna go back up now and uh, start collecting sticks. We can collect 78 sticks in one go and we only need 58. Oh, how blessed are we that there are so many rocks in this area. Okay, I left the log sled here, didn't I? Oh, it's right up there. Perfect. Am I out of lizard skin? No, I have a good amount of lizard skin. And even stealth armor. Actually, should I focus on the rocks first? Since, like, I need 98 rocks. Yeah, let's do that first. And I can only carry 10 rocks at a time. I don't really know um, what is the rock capacity of the log sled. And it's time to us to, for us to find out. Right now there's 10 in there. I can place another 10. There's 20 altogether. They're just running down there. They don't seem to be touching my, my defensive wall at all. That's good news for us. We don't need to spend so much time repairing that wall. Oh god, there's so many rocks here. What a blessing. Because we are very close to the fertile lands. Is that it? Well, how many rocks is that? 26? Ridiculous. 26 rocks? Are you kidding me? Hmm. It's okay, we're just gonna go collect more rocks as we go along. Eventually, we will finish it, guys. Eventually. I want... There should be a rabbit in one of these. I remember seeing it. Did it escape? Is it gone now? Oh, no. I swear, I just saw it earlier just now. It must have glitched out. God damn it. Because I wanted to breed some rabbits and... I don't want lizards. I don't even have sticks on me. God damn it. Okay, let's head back to the base and bring us a log sled from our home. Everybody questioned my decision to make zip lines around here. I I I'm seeing the practicality to to another extent, to a whole other extent. I'm so glad I made them. A lot of stick trees here, so we're gonna start uh, farming them, I guess. Gotta start somewhere, right? Let's go. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, yes. Perfection. Change to the katana. The good thing about the stick trees is that I only need one trip to get them all. Whereas with the rocks... Um, we did some pre preliminary matter there earlier, right? It was 20, 26 rocks, right? In one log sled. 26 rocks. And we need 98 rocks, so... 
Can someone help me do the maths on this? 26 multiplied by 4 is 104. 26 multiplied by 3 is 70. 78. So it is 4 trips. Don't know if I, my math made sense to anyone at all. That's just how I do the math in my head. Almost done guys, almost done. Oh, if you guys are wondering, um, I built this SOS sign, if you can see it, let me clear up some shrubs here. So if you can see, there's an SOS sign here, that you can build, it's in your blueprint book, your handbook, or whatever you call it. It does absolutely nothing, like it's just ridiculously useless, it serves no purpose whatsoever. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. One more round and we should be good to go in terms of sticks. So many rabbits around here yet my traps don't seem to catch any of them. Ridiculous, I say. It's 26 and we're good to go. We're gonna head back first. Damn it, no energy. Need some food to just eat a snack bar and uh, bring this guy over that way. There are some rocks here. I might fill up a log sled with the rocks too. If only I could send log sleds onto the zip line, that would be amazing. Is this the one with the rabbit? No, that's a squirrel. Have you guys watched the movie Up? This Pixar movie. If you watch the movie Up, there's a, there's a dog in the movie. And all, uh, he, he'll be having regular conversation, like he speaks English. And mid-sentence he goes, squirrel, whenever he sees a squirrel. And if that doesn't depict exactly how, how ADHD I am. Whew. That was a good jump. I'm gonna go this way, that way. Okay. Oh, fresh. I did a bad, I did a bad. Are we done with the sticks? Uh, six more. Okay, now is the matter of the rocks. I don't know if there are any rocks lying around in this area here, but there's only one way to find out, guys. Try to go and look for them. They're normally in the more grassy areas rather than the sandy areas. So we're just gonna go up a little bit here. Oh yeah, there are a good amount of rocks here. I'm literally just running around, not really looking for the rocks, but they just sort of appear. Oh god, I gotta remove the sticks first. Can I collect them? Look at the lizard boy. Okay. Rocks, rocks, let's go. So the thing about collecting rocks is that they're not... Was that a spider? I swear I saw a spider. Damn it, I lost it. 
never mind what was i saying yeah the thing about collecting rocks is that they're not hard to find right like they're everywhere it's just that they're so it's such a tedious process you know like why would anyone put themselves through this just running around collecting rocks it's okay i guess it's kind of like a meditative experience if you're into that it's the main reason i play this game anyway i know a lot of people uh, play minecraft with the same discipline but i find more peace in this game compared to minecraft it's just that in minecraft like all of a sudden like, like a creeper appears and then like, you explode and everything you have built and stand for is gone not that that doesn't happen in this game huh? but it, i don't know I, I guess the frequency is a lot less and you're a lot stronger in this game so you can actually defend yourself spider i knew it i knew it. i'm not crazy <gasps> i can kill it wow. okay now the other side i did have a lock slot up there with filled with rocks right it's okay we're gonna go search on this side first there is some grass here. We're gonna hope that we see some rocks. Oh, there are no rocks. Oh, I mean, very little rocks. I'm running pretty far here. Yeah, there are just no rocks on the sand. Ridiculous. Oh, after I ran forward and ran back, the rocks sort of like respawned. Like. Like, let me show you what I mean. Like we just cleared the area of rocks, right? There should be no rocks now, but there seems to be some rocks here. And now if we run back, almost positive we're gonna see more rocks. There we go. What a weird experience. But an experience nonetheless. A little bit more, a little bit more. Look at the lighting. This game doesn't even have ray tracing, but just look at that. Look. I'm just a sucker for these things, man. It's one of the only things I like about Cyberpunk. Let's go. See, I know I have a log sled filled with rocks up there. I'm just too lazy to go up right now. That's right, I'm so lazy that I would rather fill these things up. I'd rather go around collecting rocks. And actually, 22 more to go. Why is that? 10 here and 12 here. Understandable. Understandable. One more round, guys. One more round. Yeah, there's just a lot more rocks here. I'm gonna pull out my lighter so that we can see a little bit better. I'm gonna collect. All that I find, I'm just gonna run around here. Good. I'm gonna keep running, running. Plenty of rocks here. Plenty of them, plenty, plenty, plenty. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Wow, the rocks respawn so quickly.
Oh, that's a lizard. Look, look at him. Apparently, the lizard is modeled after a lizard that exists in Australia. Don't remember what it's called. Um, you can probably look it up. Um, I only found out from this YouTuber named Farkit. Farkit is like a YouTuber that I watch that plays the forest and makes like forest videos. Almost exclusively forest videos. And he plays like some other survival games. And I don't know, I guess he kind of inspired me to play the game. And it's just how he, his attitude toward the game that kind of made me like the game even more. If that makes any sense. We're good to go. We have finished building our defenses. We could build another layer of defense if we want to. You know. Sort of like coming around in a semi-circle. This way. Like the crescent moon. But it might be a little bit counterintuitive. Uh, it's going to be a bit troublesome to exit and enter as well pretty handy huh, making a base here a lot of players um, they start off the game like by making a base here because it's so easy to just defend yourself and prevent being killed by mobs simply because they can't go in the water right so Saves you a lot of trouble. Unless you encounter a Megan mob or like a Armzy or a Virginia or a Cowman. Then they can break the... They can break the defensive walls but they rarely ever come this side. They are more over the cliff there like closer to my... To my base, to our base. They sort of spawn like right there and that's why a lot of our stuff gets destroyed see we didn't know that that's where they spawn and they didn't really plan things through but yeah guys i uh, hope you enjoyed me building my defensive wall i'm gonna head to my boat now please uh, leave me a like a comment and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content um yeah, uh, look in the links below, you'll be able to find my Patreon, my Twitch. Do consider donating. Oh god damn, I did something bad. did something really bad. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Nothing's too bad, I just gotta go back up there and place them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah. Please, guys, go check out my my Twitch, my Patreon. Uh, consider helping me get some funds so that I can get some better equipment, some better mics. Right now, I'm using the mic that's attached to my headphones because my regular condenser mic just isn't doing it. It's like a lot of buzzing and a lot of noise that I don't quite understand. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I just wanted to show you guys, like... That they, I don't think they can come over this side. So I'm just going to stand right here and wait for him to attack me. But he doesn't seem to be able to walk over here. So that's a plus for us. I could provoke him and see if he can come. Let's try that. Oh, I missed. Let's uh, shoot him and then just stand right here. Let's see if he can come. Are you coming here, good sir? Can you come here? Come on. They can't. Yes. All in all, mission success. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. So, anyway. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.